Alrighty boys, I need to show you what goes haywire on these things. So this video isn't for everyone, not for those boys that are trying to make power, just for them boys that are trying to keep their trucks on the road. So first things first that's always going to go out is these actuators, right? Good old array of actuators, but that's not what I'm trying to show you. What I'm trying to underline here is usually the dealership will tell you you need a new turbo assembly because it's showing a bunch of codes for the turbo and quite obviously this is mainly your issue but you know five percent of the time your turbo is actually jammed up that takes out that thing so every 300 400 thousand you're gonna have to replace one of these we've tried different approaches nothing really successful so far uh just 300 400 thousand a regular use and that thing goes goodbye bye but i've seen trucks that needed to replace at 150 thousand miles i think this one got replaced at 150 but long story short, that's what you get. But before you throw in a new actuator, so this is your turbo you're going to be working on. Obviously, it being installed on the engine, you'd want to reach on there and move this. So if it moves freely, I mean, there's always going to be a little bit of pressure on it and tension. But just make sure it's not sticky. See, this is borderline sticky and smooth, which um, this is a gray area. This thing has 400,000 on it. Nothing crazy as far as this goes. But believe me. If your veins are sticking pretty bad, you're not going to be able to turn this by hand. Like so in the other truck we're pulling off right now. That's why I'm going through all the used stuff we have here and see what we could compile it together. But right now we're working on another turbo. But since I have this turbo out, I'll show you. This is borderline bad. Typically, they're going to be jammed. Like the other one I'm pulling out of the truck is just smack that middle and you can't turn this thing for nothing. So if that's the deal, you got to pull the whole turbo out. You get your turbo rebuilt. Or just uh, throw another turbo in that case. But once again, that's 5% of the time that the turbo is actually bad. It's always, oh, 95% is just these bad boys. 5% it's the actual turbo. So don't be fooled. Don't throw out the four or five grand for the turbo. Just uh, do your actuators. But of course, double check yourself. And I just showed you how. Um, I have a truck with 400 plus thousand. Well, 460 probably by now. And it's on its second actuator. So the original one, and I've put another actuator. Turbo runs just fine. Doesn't leak any fluids, meaning, you know, coolant or oil. All right, boys. As always, may the Lord bless you. May Almighty find a chat way.